Hello, everyone. Pamela Spivey with Spivey Daniel Real Estate Group. Welcome back to our Down Payment Lender Series. Today, I'm here with Michelle Velez with Paramount a Residential Mortgage Group. She's a certified VA specialist, and we're super excited because we're going to talk about the VA program today. Okay, Michelle, go ahead. Hi, everybody. I am so excited to be here today and to, to see everybody virtually and to be able to talk about my favorite loan in, in the world to do and is the VA financing. There's been quite a few changes over the last couple of years with regards to VA financing. At this point in time, I, they changed a couple of years ago. You can go with no money down to, gosh, a million, two million, whatever it is that you could afford, you can do a no money down loan for that. Um, the other thing that I love about the VA lending is if you have somebody who, who was disabled through the military and they have 100% disability, then you can waive the funding fee for that. So there's no mortgage insurance on VA loans, but um, there is a funding fee. And so if you are disabled, you are able to waive that, which is really big because it, it can be expensive. The funding fee itself, can be financed with the loan. So uh, the loan amount can be higher than, than 100% of the financing. So a question, because I believe you said this is new where you can, someone else can go in with you that's not a VA member, they can go in on the loan. How does that work? If it's, they're not a, yeah, they're not an actual VA person before, because you couldn't put them together before, correct? If you're a VA right. person, okay. Right, so a new one of the new changes that has come about is, if you have a couple who are not married and one is a veteran and one is not, they could both go on the loan and, but um, the VA will only guarantee the veteran at hundred percent. So the difference uh, there would, it would be roughly probably 12 and a half percent that the uh, co-borrower would have to, to come in. So- oh. Um, but there would be a little bit of money that the, the co-borrower would have to come in with, but you could and still do VA a, finance. Yeah, and that's good. And another thing is like for sellers are really, you know, they're nervous when they're taking a VA loan because they're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, all these, all these fees or these inspection reports are going to be taken care of. But right now the main items are the section one, correct? That for a VA yeah, loan. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and the roofs, I always thought the roof you'd have to literally get a, like at least a certification of a one year, two year, three year, but you're saying, nope, as long as it doesn't look like it's leaking, the appraiser is not going to call it and make it a, a mandatory requirement for the seller. Is that correct? Yeah. As long as the roof doesn't look like it, you have to take care of it, anything that would be considered a health and safety item. Okay. So as long as the roof itself doesn't look like it's has holes in it or falling apart or it's leaking or anything like that, you should be you should be fine. I have not actually had any requirements on any of my files for the last, I don't know, about 10 years with needing any kind of roof inspections or roof certifications. The only thing that I have seen that we've actually had to have required is you absolutely have to have a pest inspection. Even if you're purchasing the property as is, you still need to have a pest inspection. And they will require the pest inspection to be on all structures on the property. So I had one VA loan where I had where they had a shed that was a homemade shed leaned against the property okay. because it was a shelter on the property and that had termite damage to it. It was the 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 call the findings called out to either have that replaced or removed. removed. So we just removed it. Okay, okay. And another um, you know, thing is, you said, did you also said health and safety? Um, you were giving me an example of health and safety as far as that's gonna be an item that has to be done prior to close. A right. health and safety item, uh, a health and safety item such as if you have a stairwell mm -hmm. and if you don't have a banister on the stairwell, you would have to put a banister in. That would be considered a health and safety item. Uh, if you have um, around the, the toilet, 
if the toilet is wobbly or if it seems like it's uh, sinking or anything where it looks, seems soft around the toilet area or around the tub, those things would have to be replaced. Um, but if there is, let's say, it used to be where you had vinyl, if you had a tear in the vinyl, you'd have to replace the, the whole vinyl. You don't have to do that anymore. That's not an issue. That's not considered a health and safety issue anymore. Okay. And the chip paint, that still, that still falls into the where it's going to be required. Our last deal that we did, an appraiser called the chip paint. It was a VA loan. So what we just did is whatever the appraiser called, then we just took care of it prior to close. And we had that conversation with the buyer and the seller knowing that this is going to be an item that possibly will come up. And so we took care of that as far as negotiations prior. Right. Sometimes they'll call it, sometimes they won't. It just depends on the appraiser themselves. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And so what about closing costs? Um, how does that work? Can you get a credit from the seller for closing costs or? You could do a credit from the seller. You could also interest rates for government loans, VA loans uh, are usually lower than conventional, definitely lower than jumbo loans. So maybe if you increase the loan amount a little bit, then you can get a little more lender credit to help offset the closing costs as well. You know, we touched on something, you touched on something really quick about the appraisal. And the one thing that I really like about VA loans is that if for some reason the appraisal is not going to come in what they call at value. Right. So if it's going to come in a little bit lower, the appraiser will reach out to the person who ordered the appraisal. Mm -hmm and give them a certain set, a set amount of time to provide additional documentation or addition, additional information um, yeah. to help bring the value in okay. where, where you're thinking it should be. So I had a situation where I had a VA buyer in Half Moon Bay mm -hmm. and they were purchasing a million 375. Um, the loan amount was a million 375. The appraisal came in a little bit, it was coming in low and they, it's called invoking Tidewater. They right. invoked Tidewater on me. And I reached out to a couple of listing agents in Half Moon Bay that I know really well. And I said, okay, so tell me something a little bit different about this property that I don't already know. And it turns out that it was a spec home that the builder built these homes, one home every five years. They had, he had just recently closed. He didn't close anything through the MLS. He did everything with an abstract deed. And so I was able to get the information from the abstract deed. It just closed like a month prior. And I was able to get that value and provide that to the appraiser. So a pride, a, uh, providing the appraiser with different information that they don't already have right, is always right. helpful to help bring in value. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, is there anything else that you think you want to share? Otherwise, I, you know, I mean, pretty much we covered a lot and, you know, the main goal with the lender series is just to kind of really provide the education for the potential buyer. So they understand what their options are. So my, the, the last thing in closing, what I want to say is this VA loans are not, uh, not anything that you should be afraid of. Uh, if you are a veteran, you should definitely take advantage of your veteran uh, benefit yeah. and um, working with a loan officer who really understands the ins and outs of VA lending is very important. As a certified veteran lending specialist, I'd be happy to assist you with any of that. Fabulous. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for coming by, stepping by and, and watching this information or, you know, listening to this information. And we look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.